My name is Anaya Reed. I am currently a sophomore at Nebraska Wesley University. Um, I was recruited to play women's soccer, so I'm doing that currently. I've been going on for two years. Um, I am studying communication studies with a French minor. Um, I'm originally from Kansas City, Missouri, and I grew up in a small town called Raymore, Missouri, and I graduated from Raymore Peculiar High School um, in Peculiar, Missouri, so it was a pretty small school. I think we graduated with like 100 to 150 kids. Um, I did a lot of journalism in school. Um, I played soccer as well. I got interested in communication studies because I found out that I really enjoy talking to people and being extroverted. And when I was in high school, I was very introverted. So when I got to college, I decided I was gonna change that and be more extroverted and join more. Um, roles and organizations on campus. So I took this class in my, like one of my college classes, it was intercultural communication. Um, and that just kind of like solidified why I wanted to do communication studies, was to develop interpersonal, intercultural connections with people and build, you know, trustworthy and stronger bonds with people. I also decided I wanted to be a French minor because I've been studying um, French, I was in seventh grade, just learning the basics. And so when I got to high school, I just decided just to continue in college since I've been learning it for so long, um, as well with like the intercultural uh, connection that I was talking about earlier. Um, being bilingual, especially in the diverse world we have today, it's just beneficial for myself so I can be able to like, so then, you know, the, bar the language barrier isn't as um, difficult to cross. Um, and also, I am expecting to study abroad in France my junior year, so hopefully um, I can do that and experience a different world other than, you know, American culture and American life. So my role here at DWFI is a social media intern. I found the position through one of my college professors, Carla Jensen, um, and she thought that it'd be a good, good position for me since I'm a communication study major and it. Social media involves a lot of um, um, like verbal and written communication on social media and working with a team. I've been working closely with Ariana and David to develop um, new and unique um, social media projects on our social media platforms, for example, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and other different platforms. Some of the development projects that Ariana, David, and I have been working on are Water Word Wednesdays which is where we post on our Instagram stories. Um, so for example, we posted about center pivots, something that the researchers have been working on in the past and currently. We have also been working on the behind the scene project, which is what you're watching now. And then lastly, we're also going to be doing street interviews at UNL's East Campus and just asking UNL students what they know about DWFI and educating them on what we do here and why it's important in Nebraska as well as establishing food security around the world as well as water security. So I wanted to put a face to the research that DWFI has been doing here so that our followers could see that there are real people working behind, um, behind the scenes basically um, and doing like the the hard, the hard work and the hard labor, the research and the studies um, that people don't usually see like in the front lines. The goal of the behind the scenes project is like how I stated before, just putting a face to the research that um, DWFI researchers and faculty have been doing as well as, you know, student researchers and graduate assist assistants. I want our followers to be educated on DWFI and our mission, in our mission statement. And the best way to do that is by having people who do work at DF, DWFI um, explain their goals and their mission and what they have been doing currently and in the past. I'm hoping to achieve variety with the behind the scenes project. So having interactive videos and posts on our Instagram and other social media outlets so that um, each of our followers like learning adaptabilities um, are fully encompassed because I know there are different people who are visual learners um, and things like that. So just having a variety so that um, our followers have like different modes of like learning and comprehending what we do at DWFI.
So the process for the behind the scene project for me has been very experiential for me. Um, this is my first social media internship, so it was nice to be in like a different realm concerning my like, you know, communication studies. So I started off with a creative brief, um, basically like writing, talking about the overview of the project, the goals, the scope, um, what material we will use, where, where we're going to do it and have it. Um, the goals concerning the creative brief, I talked about how, like I said before, um, I'm putting a face to the research that we're doing at DWFI. So some of the challenges with the behind the scenes project is trying to correlate it with our water word Wednesdays because um, the video editing does take a while um, to try to get it as good as quality as we can. Some of the successes for the behind the scenes project was the pre-planning um, and just getting a basic overview of what we're going to include in the behind the scenes project that will eventually in the long run lead us to a smooth transition into doing the interviews and setting up the questions, as well as the researchers um, having the willingness to participate in the behind the scenes project and putting in that extra work um, to put a face to the research that we've been doing for our audiences um, so they can get that second, that um, third perspective um, in the research and studies. Something I'm hoping to learn during the behind the scenes project is how our current researchers in their projects are making an impact to establish a more water and food secure world, not, in, not only in Nebraska, but also in other parts of the world. I hope this project communicates to our audiences that there are real people working behind the scenes, um, doing the research, doing the real research, um, creating real technologies that will help um, um, aid in our general mission to create a more water and food secure world. I would also like our audience to know that we are real people with real dreams that would like to achieve these goals, especially creating a food and water secure world here at DWFI, and that knowing that it is agriculture is important, especially in Nebraska.